Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about image quality. On my screen, I've got a simple assembly open. Let's begin by going to the Options dialog window. Click on the Document Properties tab, and then the Image Quality branch. To improve your computer's performance, you can lower the image quality with this slider. To further improve performance, you can uncheck Optimize Edge Length. Checking this option makes the display more resource intensive. Let's click OK now. So this image is obviously quite a bit lower in quality than our original display, but it takes up fewer of your computer resources, so your computer performance will improve. Let's go back to the image quality branch of the Document Properties tab. There's a third option here. Currently, it's grayed out. That's because at the assembly level, this option is not available. So let's go to the part level just to check it out. Let's right click on a part and select Open Part. Now back to the Document Properties tab, Image Quality Branch. So as you see, at the part level, this option is now available. Save tessellation with the part document. What this option does is save the display information inside the SolidWorks document file. Of course, this increases the file size. Let's click OK. And save. Let's open eDrawings, open our part. If the Save Tessellation option is unchecked, we are not able to see our part file in eDrawings. We're not even able to open the part in view only mode. Take a look at the roughness of the edges here. This is because the image quality is so low. Let's see what happens if we improve the image quality. Let's go back to the Options dialog window. Just close eDrawings here. Back to SolidWorks, Document Properties, Image Quality, and let's drag up the slider. Let's say halfway, OK, and save. Now let's reopen the part file in eDrawings. And as you see, the part looks a lot better now. Let's close eDrawings and go back to SolidWorks. I'm going to open the Options dialog window again. Document Properties tab, Image Quality branch. Let's uncheck Save Tessellation with Part Document. Click OK and Save. Let's close our part now. And we'll close the assembly as well. We're not going to save it, so click Don't Save. Let's go to Open. Left click on Part A. Now under the Mode drop down menu, select Quick View. Click Open. We get an error message from SolidWorks, cannot open. This file contains no display data. SolidWorks tells us to save it with the tessellation data as part of the document. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about image quality. We'll see you back in our next lesson.